Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Seven Engineering updates. Today our lecture is about the punching shear phenomena. It's a very important topic related to the Seven Engineering uh, related to the Seven Engineering students. So uh, today I will show you the punching shear failure and the punching shear mechanism, and I will I will also uploaded the uh, 3D animation of punching shear. You can watch it with the explanation. So first of all, I will define the punching shear. Punching shear, it is the shear failure because its name shows it is the shear. So it is the it is the shear failure. It is the shear failure of structural members. Structural members, especially of slaves and foundation. These two types of structural members are predominant in the shear failure and the punching shear failure. It is the shear failure of the structural members, slabs and foundation, uh, when due to the due to due to high concentrated load, due to the high concentrated load, the high concentrated load, are the highly localized forces highly localized forces highly localized forces what it means concentrated what it means it means that it is the shear failure it will fail and shear the structures which structure the slaves in the foundations and what are the reason due to the high concentrated load at one point or highly localized forces at one point this failure will occur and we call it this punching failure how i will take an example first of all the foundation and then i will explain the slaves with the 3d animation so let's coming to by considering this definition i will explain so it is the shear failure right in which the objects move slide of uh, slides against one another we call it the shear failure slides into one another so first of all considering the uh, footing foundation first of all I will explain the foundation how it occurs in the foundation so let's take an example of this is a uh, this is a foundation footing uh, let's take uh, this is a solitary footing in the column and the column is being supported and this is the column and it has been supported by this footing this foundation and there is some load maybe of girder maybe of slaves coming on the beam coming on the column and the column trans and the slaves transfer this load into the column from both sides so column will transfer this load into the foundation into the footing which is a solid footing in this case so this is the column and this is the footing you can watch the animation now Now what is the punching shear? So when this column, this column moves inside into the footing, so when the load is on this column and the load exceeds the certain limit, so what happens uh, to the column, it actually moves inside and fracture inside into the footing. It goes inside into the footing and more over the depth. Why? Because this depth of the footing isolated footing is less according to the design so due to this load when the load is high and it does not support the load the footing does not support the column load so it will move and it will 
punch the column and do the footing. Punch means if this, if this is something uh, and I put the load on, on, this, uh, on, this, on this plate, it will it really punches, it will move inside into the uh, into the uh, this plate. For example, this is the hand and this is the footing and this is my column. So when the load is on the column, so it will punches into the into my hand. So this we call is the punching. So punching sure means it will sure it will moves uh, along the sides of the uh, of the footing. So we call is the here the punching shear failure occurs because it it punches punching shear. Because it punches into the footing and shear because it shears, it slides with the footing. The, the, the column slides with the footing and it fails. So we call it the punching shear failure in the footing. Now I will explain the, in the case of the slabs. Slabs are the most commonly failure occur in the flat slab is the punching shear failure. Punching shear is really predominant in the slabs and the footing. So let's come into the slabs in case of the flat slabs in case of the flat slabs now when the, please watch the animation first to, then i will explain the flat slab now as i show you this flat slab it's like this type of slab moving in both sides in every direction but i'm just considering this slab there's a flat slab Flat slabs are those which are only supported by columns. So there is no beam, such beams are there in the flat slabs. So consider this is the column in the flat slab. So when the load is coming on this, uh, on this structure, on this floor, there is the load coming. So what happens, it will transfer the load into the column from all sides. So when the load is coming, so on the slab, and these slabs, what happens? What happens that the slab load is downward, it moves downward, and this column moves upward. Because the load X here is more than the designed, so this load comes downward and it punches the column into the upper direction. The loads of the slabs coming in this direction, in this direction, while the column is here, so it will move up in the footing and the sorry in the slabs and this column moves outside of the slabs or move into the more into the slabs so what we do so here oh, we are some doing recommendations we do two types of the so it fails by punching shear right so when the columns move there's a column and when it moves there's a column and there's a slab and when it moves into the uh, slab so into the slab so we call there is a punching shear failure because it punches into the slab and this amount of area has been affected by the column. So what we do here, there are two types of method to increase the, uh, to do not, to avoid the punching shear in the slabs. First we do the, uh, first we do the capital column, column capital, column capital, column capital. I will also uh, make it in 3D for you people and the second one is the uh, column capital is the drop panel. Drop panel is in case of slaves. So now you can watch the uh, 3D animation. Coming to the now the again the uh, into the problem, so this failure should be avoided by these two things. One is the drop panel, one is the column capital. If we do the column capital, so we can avoid the uh, punching shear failure 
of if we do the drop panel and drop panel we increase the slip depth here in the case where the column we increase the slip depth here there is a slip depth uh, so in case of the column capital what we do we increase the column uh, size so to avoid the punching shear failure and thank you for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos